Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Let's study about pollination. As you know that we are studying about the chapter reproduction in organism in the previous class we studied about uh, the concept of reproductions and as well as the part of flowers so right now we need to study about pollination so i hope you know that what is androsium and what is gynesium what is the what are the parts of androsium and what are the parts of gynesium and then when you know that in the anther the anther which is the part of actually the stamen where pollen grains will be produced and stigma is the part of the gynesium where is the apical form of apical part of of the carpal so when pollination is that it is actually the act so importantly the word is important that it is an act to transfer what the pollen grains so it's actually an act of transferring pollen grains from from the male anther so i hope you know the structure of flower so it means that it is an act of transferring the pollen grains from the male anther to the female stigma so what is actually going on here you know that pollen grains that is actually the part of sexual reproductions and this is the part of flowers so pollen grains is transferring from from the anther to stigma so anther is a part of a male part actually androsium so pollens are transferring so when pollens are transferring in the same flower we know that we know that bisexual flowers all the complete flowers those flowers have five holes thalamus calyx corolla androsium and gynesium so in one single and um, single flowers will contain androsium and gynesium so when in a same flower from anther to stigma it can happen or even in the same plants two different flowers it can happen so when the pollinations or the transfer transferring of pollen grains is happening in the same flower or in a same tree of two different flowers this is called self-pollination so we'll say this is self-pollination and if this transferring happens into two different plants but the same species the flower of same species like cottons so cotton flowers so from one plants of cotton flowers if the pollen is just carried to the other other cotton flowers then in different plants that is why it's called cross pollination so simply we can say that that pollination are of two types number one self pollination and cross pollination simply self pollination will take place in the same flower or in the same plant but two different flowers it can happen so in the same plants or in the same flower where the pollination will take place this is self pollination but when two different plants but same species of flower this is cross pollinations now point is what is the advantage and what is the disadvantage and how it happens if you see closely the advantage of the self pollinations are the disadvantage of cross pollination and similarly the disadvantage of self pollination are the advantage of cross pollinations think about it in self pollination when i mean the pollens are transferring in a minimum distance a relatively minimum distance suppose uh, uh, in the same in the same flower the pollens are just transferring a minimum distance so the wastage of pollens is less so think about that in thousand pollens the the percentage of a wastage is really less so that is why in self pollination the wastage of pollens is less this is advantage so we're talking about the advantage of self pollination you see that another good thing is that the pollination is ensured as because you know that in the same plants or in the same flowers is happening so that is why probably there is a less chance of wastes 
and as it is the less chance of wastage of pollens so the pollination is ensured and number three spacious purity I mean the flowers I mean really I mean this is a reproductive organ set of, of a fly of plants so when the genetic materials the pollens are carrying the genetic materials when actually it is transferring in the same flower or in the same plants so there is no chances of coming new genetic materials into it and that is why the spacious purity is maintaining here so the three points that we are looking for the advantage of the self pollination is that the wastage of pollens is less so that the pollination is ensured and it is happening in the same flowers and in the same plants so the spacious purity is maintained so this is the advantage now think about it here what is the disadvantage of cross pollination in cross pollination you know that a pollen grains need to pass a long distance or two different plants so it might have a chance pollination is not sure and as pollination is not sure as here in self pollination we knew that the wastage is less but here pollen will be wasted because it's not confirmed that a pollen is carried through the another way and that it's definitely is getting the stigma of another flower that is not sure so waste of pollen would be the disadvantage of cross pollination which is the advantage of self pollination impaired purity so in cross pollination the disadvantage is impaired purity i mean the spacious purity may not maintain but now you think what is the advantage of cross pollination new character emerges as because the changes is going on here and there so among the species it it might have a chances to create or emerge as new species that is why in cross pollination new character emerges more vigorous seeds are produced as you know that different categories of flowers or different in the same species different parts and different uh, genetic material are mixed up that is why more vigorous seeds will be produced through the cross pollination and the rate of germination is so high so these are the advantage of cross pollinations which is the disadvantage of self pollination so if you think simply that the cross pollinations are there which is happening two different plants so that difference is not fixed it can be this one it can be this one it can be another one or it can be others but the species should be the same in self pollination pollens wastage is less that is why in short pollination we are getting and also spacious purity that is advantage in case of disadvantage of self pollination as it's maintaining the purity so no new character will be emerged so you are saying the spacious purity will be maintaining so as spacious purity is maintaining so no new character will emerge seeds will be the less vigor and the adaptability so as it is less vigorous the adaptability of the seeds would be reduced so these are the disadvantage of the self pollination so in your question paper if something like questions is what is the differences between self pollinations and cross pollinations what are the advantage and disadvantage the seed i hope you understand and now the thing is that as you say that in cross pollinations two different plants the flowers and the pollen grains are transferring from one plants to another plants so that is why it requires a carrier through which the pollens can pass through so what are those carriers and what are those mediums we know that there are four number 1 insect number 2 air number 3 water number 4 animal imagine that 
insect pollinated uh, flowers insect will be attracted to which flowers those are actually uh, bigger and colorful and uh, the nectar secreted glands will be there so those colorful flowers will be attracted by the insects and then insects will take like a nectar they will be roaming around in there for the nectar so that is why it happens so these insect pollinated flowers are those flowers their pollination are taking place through the insects like hibiscus like gourd and mustard think about petty the air pollinated uh, plants what is happening there their uh, stigma is actually branched and they're very lightweight so that is why it's branched and also feathery and definitely they're actually uh, what I can say uh, attached with one another so when the air blow is having in, in front of the uh, petty field you know that the pollen grains are passing through here and there and that is why it's air pollinated and the example is petty in case of water pollinated those plants or flowers are having in, in, in water think about hyacinths or uh, valesneria what happening there the petiole of the females part is much bigger so the mature uh, androsium is getting different and then they're actually floating in the water and then connected with the female one so that is why the water pollinated stickers which is valesneria in other part that is animal pollinated which is simple that is animal is taking place as a carrier in case of pollination which is kadam and cotton so these four carrier or the medium is is taking part as as a pollination so which is air pollinations insect pollinations i mean insect pollinated air pollinated water pollinated and animal pollinated so I hope you understand a very short lecture about pollination. At first, you need to remember the definition of it, which is the act of transferring pollen grains. What is the transferring pollen grains? From where? From anther. To where? Stigma. Anther is a part of stamen, which is the part of androsium. From anther to stigma. Stigma is a part of gynesium. Actually, stigma, style, and ovary so from anther to stigma these are the difference and these are the topic so in this video i didn't actually write anything but i wrote previously i hope it will help to memorize things and to understand things properly in the next video i'm coming up with microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis and then fertilization so this will be a linking uh, videos i hope those who will watch it right now this videos Please continue the series and then if you understand, let me know in the comment sections or if you feel any trouble or anything, also let me know in the comment sections. I'll be answering your questions. So see you. Take care. Bye.